If you are watching this video, chances are that you have your own Apple Watch. So why not make it run faster? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Fox channel here and as you can see, this video is going to be about the Apple Watch. But this time it is not the regular video where I talk about some of these best applications for the Apple Watch and instead I just want to give you a quick and very useful tip for all of you having the Apple Watch on your wrist every day. It worked for me and hopefully it will work for you as well. And what it basically does is that it makes the Apple Watch a lot faster and snappier than it was before performing the trick. So it is really useful and it makes the Apple Watch like a brand new device. Before I start talking about the actual trick or how you can make the Apple Watch faster, let me tell you how it all started. So I was using the Apple Watch on my wrist and my brother came along and he asked like, which applications are you having on the Apple Watch? And I was like, take a look at it. So he grabbed the Apple Watch and he started to use it and he was like, why is it so laggy? And I said, it is not, it is working perfectly fine. It was working fine, but it could be a lot better actually. And after some time spent with the Apple Watch, I didn't even realize that the watch can be faster, but it wasn't anything terrible. You could go inside any applications you wanted to, you could use it the normal way, but the animations and everything around it was simply slower or it wasn't Apple-like. Apple doesn't have this type of laggy animations. And now after the trick, it works all fine. And it was completely okay to me, I didn't do anything about it, I didn't try to improve it, I was just using the Apple Watch the normal way, not caring about the lags at all. But I bought the Apple iPhone X and I was like, I'm gonna reset the Apple Watch and connect to the iPhone X one more time because I just wanna have it clean and I don't really care about the 20 apps I have on the Apple Watch, I just want to start from beginning. And this was a very good idea because this made my Apple Watch like a lot faster than it was before. Just take a look at these animations, it is so fluid, so nice, so just like Apple, you know, like in the past it wasn't like this. I'm not sure if the watchOS 4 has something to do with this, but I was using the watchOS 4 even before when it was laggy, so I assume that this has nothing to do with this whole situation. It is like, you know, there are new themes or new Apple Watch faces, like the Toy Story for example. Either way, it doesn't really have any kind of impact on the speed in my opinion. It's also possible that it works so fluid because I don't really have many applications running here on the Apple Watch, but I wasn't using the Apple Watch really heavily before. As I mentioned, I had only like 20 apps that I was using, so it wasn't really a heavy use, or I don't consider it to be a heavy use. It was like a normal using of the Apple Watch, so I have no idea why it was so slow. If you want to, you can also take a look at my last Apple Watch video where I was talking about the best apps for the Apple Watch, and maybe you will see the difference. I'm not sure how well the difference will be captured on the video but it is there so I am pretty satisfied with the result and I didn't even know that I'm doing something in order to speed up my Apple Watch. So if you are one of those people who don't really care about downloading the applications one more time then go ahead and do it on your Apple Watch and if you want to do it just go to the settings open it up of course and head over to the general section right here. So open it up and go to the bottom where you see a reset. So click on it. So when you click on it, the reset process will begin. But you have to think about it before you do it because it will erase all of your content as you can see right here and you cannot undo the step. So once you decide that you want to do it, there is no way back. But I don't really think that it is a big problem to download all of these applications one more time, you know. At least you will know which applications you are really using and which you can delete because you haven't even opened them. So this is another useful thing that is connected with this Apple Watch trick. So that is the end of this video guys, I just really hope you enjoyed it. I know that this tip may sound like the most obvious thing to do on the Apple Watch, but believe me this is not something you want to do because you don't even feel that the Apple Watch is slow, so you don't even realize that you should reset it sometimes in order to make it fluid again. So I really hope you found this video useful and please let me know what you would like to see covered on this channel in terms of the Apple Watch, like what videos I should be making in the future. Thank you so much for watching, enjoy the rest of your day and your Apple Watch, and see you in the next one.